Hello, in this video uh, we're going to show you how you can run any Android app on your Chromebook. So um, I know that many of us have Android cell phones or tablets and there are lots of math, science, social studies and English apps that go along with this um, that, that are great for education and we wish we could run on a Chromebook. Well now we can with, uh, with an app called Torque. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go to the Google Chrome Store and we have to install the Torque app. When you search for Torque in the search bar, you'll see that Torque is a uh, yellow um, icon with a little pink maroon circle. You press the uh, install button and then add, and Torque will be added to your apps. In order for the extension for Twerk to appear in the extension list, we're going to have to install an Android Chrome app that's already been converted. One of the apps that I used initially was called um, Evernote. So I searched for Evernote. I saw that it's available for Android um, and that it's already been converted. So I click the install and then the add app and it's going to add Evernote to my app list as well. Now all this does, and you could, you could delete Evernote later if you don't want it, all this does, it makes the extension available for us uh, in the extension list. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you where the extension list is. So pressing these three bars and then going to more tools and then extensions you'll see that it lists uh, all of your extensions. Now what you need to do here is you need to click on developer mode. So uh, developer mode here. And then uh, if you scroll down to the app runtime for Chrome, that's where all of your Android apps will be listed. Now as you can see I've tried it a few times. This is where Evernote will be listed and this is what makes the app runtime for Chrome um, available. So we can now go to the Google Play Store and pick our Android app. So I make my way to the Google Play Store. I search for Google Play. And um, I'm going to click on Apps. And uh, here is where I can search. Now, uh, there's a, uh, I know there's an, a cool math Android app called Math Workout. So if I search for Math Workout here, it's the first one listed. But as you can see, there's a whole bunch that you could try and test out um, on the Chromebook. So what what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Android app, and what this is going to do is it gives me a install file for Android. But what we need is we need the APK download file. Now it's okay, I have a, an APK, APK downloader link that I'll leave in the description in the email. But wh what we do is we take the link in the Google Play Store and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into an APK downloader. So I paste it into the um, the, um, the text box, and I'm going to click the blue generate download link. Now you'll see that the math workout symbol is there, uh, it's created the link for me, and then it's also given me this green button to press, which in which I can download the file to my Chromebook. I'll press it now. So it's downloading the math workout EPK file to the Chromebook. So what I can do is I can use this arrow here to show in folder. And what that's going to do is it's going to open my download of downloads and it's going to highlight where it's been downloaded to. So at this point what I can do is I can now open Twerk. So now that I've opened Twerk, I have the Math Workout APK. I can take the Math Workout APK or whatever Android app that you want to install, and I can drag it over to Twerk. 
So now what's that going to do is it's going to open up some settings on how we want to install this file. So under application name, I'm going to change this to math workout because that's how it's going to be listed in my app folder and I want to make sure that I can distinguish it from other file names. I'm going to keep the package name the same. I'm going to change phone to tablet and portrait to landscape and that's simply because um, Chromebook is more of a landscape tablet type orientation. Uh, fixed versus scale size depends on the app. I know I've played math workout before and I think we'll be fine with the fixed size. Uh, and I'm going to leave the last two options the same. I'm then going to pick, uh, click the uh, pink maroon circle at the bottom. And then I'm going to click open. You'll see that math workout has been built. And what I need to do now is I need to navigate to my extensions list again. So the three lines, more tools, extensions. And, uh, you know, as you can see, it doesn't, it's not quite installed yet. I need to go to load unpacked extension. I need to click where it's located and notice it's the same file name except it has torque on the end. So I click that, that folder name and I open. And you can see it has now been added to my list here. And it's also been added to my list here. So uh, to launch the math workout initially and to create the app icon in your list, what you want to do is you want to click launch. And that's going to launch the Android app on the Chromebook. So here we are. I'm going to accept. And now we essentially have the math workout app working. And it works just like it would on the Android phone. And, uh, you know, we and students can practice their math and, and do whatever they want with the with the app. Notice that the app has also been added to my um, app list. I've also tried this with um, IXL. And oops, I've also tried it with IXL and Skype, and they both seem to work fine. So, um, you know, it, it, this is, uh, Torque is something that has potential to increase the software capabilities of some of our Chromebooks. So if you have any questions about installing Torque or you want some help installing Torque, uh, just uh, send us an email or give us a call, and we will help you do that.